The War on Earwigs, a battle that has remained here in the Falklands for over a decade. The European earwig was thought to have arrived in the mid-1990s during the early construction phase of East Stanley. It is thought that they originally came from the UK amongst building materials and over the years it has rapidly developed into an earwig epidemic. But it isn't all doom and gloom. One major reason for the unusually high densities of this pest species is down to the lack of natural enemies and the earwig's enemy comes in the form of a fly called the Tachinid. Cabby, a UK organisation who specialise in biological control, have recently conducted an extensive report on the feasibility of introducing the Tachinid fly to the Falklands. Summarising the report, uh, there's quite a large report being produced and that, that just came to us um, a couple of weeks ago and has gone to Environment Committee uh, for consideration. Um, basically, they're suggesting that they think it can work, they think there's minimal risk of impacting other species by releasing this fly and also there's minimal risk of that fly itself becoming a problem. Um, they say there's, there's very small chance that they would enter, it would enter people's homes, etc. You know, um, you should, probably wouldn't even notice them at all because they are very host specific. They would just target um, introduced earwig eggs, basically. And in theory, when the, if, if the earwigs are successfully suppressed in numbers, the fly numbers should re reduce as well because they won't be able to um, feed on anything else. So it would seem that biological control via the tachinid fly is a safe and environmentally sound method to tackle this invasive pest. But this still doesn't come without its concerns. As you say, there are, there are dangers, though we think they've been kind of managed and mitigated from what we've been told. So that the main danger is that, firstly, I guess that the fly itself becomes an issue but we're told that that's a very small concern. Um, and secondly, that they impact on other native species that we don't want to control. Um, so it's making sure that they really you know, focus and predate on earwigs themselves, which this you know, long-term piece of research, which has just concluded, tells us that shouldn't be an issue. Um, so I think other than those two main risks, everything else, the Environment Committee and the experts, Environmental Planning Department that have been looking at this for some time, are comfortable that we should be moving on to the next stage, which is looking at a trial, um, hopefully from April 2015, if all goes to plan, and introducing some flies on a smaller scale and just seeing if it works in the islands. Not only do earwigs pose a number of health hazards, but they also cause considerable damage to our garden crops and have become a particular nuisance at the Stanley Garden Centre. Garden owner Tim Miller has been plagued with the problem for some time now and believes the tachinid fly could be the answer he's been looking for. The tachinid, tachinid fly has been thoroughly checked out for us because we were a little bit concerned here in the Falklands initially uh, that we didn't want it to have any, um, any side effects on the little black native black Falklands beetle. Uh, nor also on the Falklands cricket um, uh, that we have, uh, have here in the summer, it's a bit like a large grasshopper. Um, but they've done a whole range of trials in the UK. Those have come out absolutely top-notch because not only does it not affect other species, within the actual earwig family, the technid fly will only attack the European earwigs and that's the one that we've got. Uh, in the UK, for instance, they've tried it out on some of the less common other varieties of earwigs, which they have, have in, in, um, in Great Britain, and it didn't bother them at all. It had, no, it had no effect on them at all. It purely goes for the European earwig. So I think we can introduce the technic fly here in the Falklands, and people need have no worries at all um, about it. Government officials have estimated the cost of the two-year project at £70,000 and by November this year we will know if that figure has been accepted and if the project has been given the seal of approval. Although the tachinid fly will never eradicate earwigs completely, it will however manage their numbers so that hopefully earwigs and humans can live together in harmony.